do something? Yeah, because Leo's naturally yeah. that's Lauren's uh, they put it on their Facebook. Okay. So that lady put it off me. Yeah. So she had her local grocery store doing the same right. thing. Oh, okay. So okay. Sue and Joey Leo know that. Oh, okay. Some people are friends with them. Oh, okay. So they got together. Yeah. I thought that was me. Yeah. Oh, I think the second person told me well first of all your dad. Who was it? Your life flight. He was a lot of people. Down around yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was from down around uh was it around here? Uh McCarthy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was from down around the Gary. Was it Gary? Buzz? That I don't know. Yeah. All I know is they said it was a relative on the way. They didn't give any names. Yeah, they yeah. said a Clarkson fell yeah. out of a tree stand. My yeah. brother in law said it was your dad. Yeah, then they thought it was you. But they ended up they yeah. had the the uh, the six 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 on the phone. The rescue, the six by six. They were in the town. The, the, the line's still open, but you, you quit yeah. talking to us. Oh, yeah. So they were kind of hustling me. They ended up flying him out. Gary and Neil, Pudge and Neil, they're, Neil's my same age as me, and Pudge is a couple of years younger, but they both live down there. That way. Yeah. Well, Joanne didn't see anything on Facebook, so she figured out where it was. Yeah, right. I guess they had a hard time getting them out. Yeah. Not how far back he was. Accept the minutes of a financial report. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Public comments. Who would like to go first? I'll go first. Um, here's tax, spring taxes that came in that paid a penalty, and those are the two receipts for the convention. And um, I'm gonna, I just wanted to thank everybody for letting us go um, and helping we'll pay for it. But um, we learned a lot. There were a lot of different speakers there. There were over 280 tax collectors there. We had a lot of Q and A's with the Postal Department, with the PTCA, the council, the um, police were there, which the police, the, someone from the state police was there, which you know, living in a rural community and if something were to happen and, you know, you can't just get to them right away, got some different ideas on what to do. You know, we have cash here, so anything could happen. Um, we went one-on-one -on -one with um, the speaker from the DCED about reports and reporting and got a lot of information from him. We also got some information 
learned that the post office cannot give us any addresses due to confidentiality. But um, and Mom and I knew that we could go to the the municipal authorities to request information. But it's not, you know, that's just to find out who's living there, but not if there's other adult children there. So um, we got some other tips from other tax collectors on how to find that information out. So it was very informative. That's good. So thank you. You're welcome. Glad you learned something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have another ordinance there I come across. I don't know if it's, uh, I made it bigger. It was done in 76. Uh, trucks coming in the, they have to have the trucks covered. 1976? I think that was when yeah, Bruce Brandon was mayor. Or, wow. yeah. Can you read it? Out loud? Well, no, I just, I don't know if you have that one ordinance in the files, and I thought, well, if you don't, it's a good thing to have on hand. It's about covered, having covered trucks covered in town. Pretty much anything's covered anymore. Well, that was when they were hauling coal. So I was going to say, that was probably when the coal bill was yeah. going on with Benjamin. Yeah. That's the original <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. Back in the country, was going yeah. great. The fine was $25. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I brought a picture. I don't know if you remember the sign that was on the fence. Okay. Well, there's a gentleman here in town, named Jay Miller. He's been helping us with the Historical Society. He took that sign and refinished it and put it down in the park in the pavilion. Oh, that's cool. It was made in the 80s. Yeah, when I saw it down there. Hmm. That's very nice. And, uh, Do you want that back one? No, I mean, I just copied it. He's been helping us with the museum upstairs. Him and his wife have cleaned the museum up and made it available for when like, we had the convention or the fireman's thing here in town that they had it open. People were really tickled to go up to see the jail. But what I'd like to know is, is there any possible way we can clean that basement up? Because so, when people go down to the jail, I mean, I'm sure EJ would do some of it, but, but the, I don't know how that cement floor is anymore. Uh, Dave's been down there cleaning. Oh, I heard he was working the storm. Yeah, yeah. Once you know, once he gets gets everything in order from the last six years, he'll. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he will get in there. He will help. He'll help you out and do whatever well, you need to uh, do there. There's some old building boots down there. If they're still there, they were on top of the uh, tanks, oil tanks. And I thought we could maybe get them made into things that open this way and cover the tanks up. You know, that would hide them. And make it more like a, because there's a lot of stuff down there. A lot less right now. A lot less right now. Oh, that's good. I filled the dumps for the first one when I was here. Oh, I didn't find so much joy under him and bring it to the tree. No, it was all over. It was all over. It was all over. It was yeah, we, <laughs> some of the stuff he found down there, he said that he found oil cans, the old Pierce top oil cans. <laughs> he said he found. Hey, well, those are probably antiques, guys. Yeah, that's right. Probably got the money for that. Turns them up. The oil brand is. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people pay a lot of money for those. Yeah. He said there was a special stuff and stuff for decoration. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> that's all. That's all. That's all you got? Yeah, I just wanted to let you know this guy's really interested in our bonus. <coughs> that's good. Yeah. Well, he wants to anything? help out. Yeah. Okay. I guess there are no more public comments. We're on the committee reports. I don't have anything but the Christmas one, the decorating committee. They haven't got much done this month. Hopefully they're going to get on to it. Get the Christmas lights up and ready, but I don't, I'm not sure yet. How was that major thing holding up? I know last year they had some trouble with it. Uh, pretty good. Uh, put a metal roof on it. Mm -hmm. you know, they were supposed to give me a tire size for it. I'm going to try to find them a deal on a set of tires for it. Yeah, it's a very good use one. Because it only goes from Kate's house. Yeah. To really set it up. Yeah. So, 13 inch tires are kind of hard to find anymore. Yeah, but they are. So, what's it, what's it for? It's the, the uh, trailer, trailer the, the, the major sets on. 
Yeah, so that thing's really old, didn't you? The the manger's not, but the uh, the chimney set's over 50 yeah. years old. Yeah, downstairs, that's long there, behind the Ford tractor, on that shell, on those shells, I think there's a set down there. <laughs> that, that's, that would be good. Yeah. If not, there's, if, does it take two? It could if it had to. Because there's two, <laughs> he found a whole bunch of tubes down there too. They're probably all dry rod and all dead down there. Uh, yeah, we can look and see what's down there. I didn't deliver tires down there in that back bay. You couldn't get in that back bay. Oh, you can now. Did <laughs> <laughs> anybody ever check the coal bin? Somebody, I got it. There was an email about during the one of the centennials that they made a thing just put back and keep up after so long. I don't remember it. What time that. capsule? Hmm? Like a time capsule? Or? Yeah. No. Oh. And I, I, that coal bin I haven't been used for years. I don't think there's anything in there, but wouldn't first check can, and see. Uh, after the meeting, you can go find out. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why? <coughs> I expect money. <laughs> <laughs> now you never know what you find. No, you never know you're going to find the time capsule. I wish there would have been one, but I. Sure. It worked that day, but the, I heard the fall festival over here. Yeah. yeah. A little windy, chased off a lot of the vendors early, but there were a lot of people there. Was there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you do the pie eating contest? <laughs> <laughs> Every year I go home. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the rest of the day. It's a sugar shock. There's four of us, you know. Okay. Good. Good. Right. Looks like you're up next. Um, just to touch on the Arona Event Committee, you know, like, like you said, Smitty, the weather, it's hard to judge Mother Nature. Um, I know they went live earlier in the day and it was past, you know. And the wife and I went there, I mean, there were a couple of vendors leaving and everything, but. And then I um, want to, you know, say thank you to them for collecting candy for your church, mm -hmm. your church, mm -hmm. and for the fire company. So they went above and beyond, you know, for Halloween night. I think they had like three or four hundred pieces of candy mm -hmm. bars. Yeah, so, and then um, for Halloween, um, I already talked to the chief and Dave. Um, just want to say thank you to the fire company for providing the safety for the parents and children. Um, they had five units out that day, and um, two of them actually stayed down on 53 because of the cars, like they were just flying. And then the church up the street was doing trunk or treat. So, you know, and then I heard a lot of good comments from parents, you know, saying to tell the fire company thank you. I mean, you know, they did a pretty good job. Um, the fire company has a turkey raffle on the 16th of this month. Um, tickets are three for five. And then, when's the Christmas prayer? Yeah. The 17th? You put me on the spot, I don't remember. They, they told me, I forgot to write it down, but I gotta call the chief anyway, tomorrow. Um, let's see if they need that road closed again. Great. I'll tell the closer of it to get the permit. Yeah. We have 30 days ahead, 30 days before to do that. So. And then, do we go half the cost or a third cost for the camp? Yeah. Usually it's a third because the fire company, the ambulance, and the borough okay. all go together and they make up those bags. Okay. That's all I got, nothing much today. Well, I guess it's over to you, Amber, for the maintenance report. All right. Um, Dave has been doing a really good job. Um, I've heard. He, um, he fixed the skid steer lights and the heater in it. He said it, all it was was just messing with the fuses and he said it worked. Mm -hmm. um, he said he got the skid steer and pump. They're ready for the winter. Anti-skid was delivered. The dump was serviced, the dump truck was serviced oil fuel, fuel fueler, inspected and had back brakes put on along with a rear caliber, right from the rear caliber. Uh, Mary Miles, fire hall storm drains are open, but could use some more maintenance. Um, he 
said all that he has left to do in the park is remove swings. He started installing new street signs. He said we're good on road salt. And then he wrote, can we figure out what to do with large Miller welder over by the Ford tractor? The cold and damp press is not doing it any good. Maybe have Tom look at it and get a game plan for it. I'm look at it. Is, it, is it gas fired or something? It's a big pole it, behind. It, it, it's a, a big one. But I don't think it's a generator. I think it's just a welder. Just a welder. But you could. I think there is a couple plugs on the side of that. He didn't get it completely dug out yet. I know he was yeah, it. showing me, and he said, "He said I'm sure it works." He said, "But you know, sitting out there in that damp isn't doing any good." Well, Joe said he couldn't get it running that time. Is it diesel or gas? You know? I think it's gas. It's a big leak. And then he said things that are not being used down there. He said the old power broom for the skid steer, the boss meat plow, I guess it's over by the supplies, an old gas power shake, a Hustler zero turn mower, old swings, and an old hand dryer. He said he wanted to know what he could do with all that stuff. Well, I think the plow we should probably put up for bid. Yeah, somebody would buy that. Yeah. Yeah, he said you could probably get a thousand or fifteen hundred. Did that one in these dogs? No. This is off of <clears throat> the truck before the Dodge. Yeah. So was it the two wheel drive Ford we had that time? Well, the old Chevy, the red Chevy. The old it's red probably Chevy. off the red Chevy. Wow. Well, the big V plow sitting over there was buried. Yeah, I think it's off that old red Chevy. The, the, the hustler worth anything or whatever it was. Now, remember they said that the um, the one the one channel on it didn't work? Yeah. He seems to think that uh, it was run out of oil because Dawn had that happen on him twice. And that's Joe just kept running it. What maybe is it? It's the hustler uh, zero turn. It's a uh, small zero turn. Maybe we should uh, have him put the linkages back on and see if it is actually, if he can bleed the air out of it and if it works. Yeah. Then we could just use it for the levy and use it for the rough mowing yeah. instead of using the good one for that. Yeah. So, I mean, he has the space and winters here, so. If it's something that he finds and he thinks it's worth something, we'll bid it out. If not, I vote for uh, Natalia Scrapyard or something. Well, Deedle showed interest in it. He said if he put it up for a bit, he would put a bid on it. The yeah. mower? Yeah. The mower, yeah. yeah. But it's not, you don't have to put them all back together. The linkage you need to put on it yet, and then just put oil in it and see if it, see if it actually works. Could be a good winter project. Yeah. There's an old people. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I just have a question about street signs. Um, the corner of my property starts Hoop Up Road. It's not marked as Hoop Up Road. I'm not going to There's a way that I actually think on Hoop Up Road. Is that important for like my home? Yes, it is. Yeah, can we get a well, sign up here for you? He was, well, he was going through all those signs, getting up what he had. And he was going to make a list of what ones he didn't have so we could get yeah, one he's made. There's an antique gas powered drain snake down there. And all the snake, but whether it's any good anymore or not, I don't know. He was asking about that, and I said, I know nothing about that. No, I didn't know we had that. Yeah. <clears throat> There's it's probably it's probably not worth trying to fix. Mm -mm. There's probably a stack of five coils of the snake. I seen that down there. I didn't know what those were. And then the power source, of, you know, the gas motor and everything sitting over on the wall. It, I'm sure it's probably about rusted beyond all belief. He didn't even try pulling it. He says it's who knows when the last time it ever ran or if it ran when it was put there. And that's not really not something we're putting up for bid. That's just something we're just going to look at, get rid of all 13. Yeah. I think that would be the best idea with that. We'll have to go down and do an inventory and see what we can work yeah. on. Yeah. Um, he also wanted to know if Tom would be possible to hire a part time person to help out with him. 
He said, especially whenever he needs a trunk, trunk and the dump truck for skid steer. He's like, we have to take the skid steer somewhere and then come back and get the truck. And I didn't know if we wanted to like pick somebody from. Well, I think there's a one that put an application in kind of late. Yes. There is. That lives up by me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just across from the daycare center. He did that. He did. He did. Yeah, he did yeah. Uh, uh, road maintenance time. up in Glendale year round. Yeah, he might be a bet, probably the best guy for that job. Mm -hmm. I did yeah. contact him and see if he's interested, and we can go to our next well, one. Yeah, he did apply for the position, so we would make it part time. As probably as needed. Need as need as need as need yeah. yeah. well, you know, we would need to hire him for, like, just for strictly like 20 hours a week, because we probably don't need him for that. Mm -hmm. It's like, I was going to come down here and help Dave put the salt spreader on because he was having a hard time doing it by himself. Mm -hmm. Some things just do take two people. Sure, yeah. And that's one thing that he does. Yeah. Even, well, well, even the plow sometimes takes two well, people. That's what I was going to say. Even, you know, yeah. Dave, forget the bad storm. Yeah. And yeah. One guy's in the skid steer. Yeah. We have loading the truck. Mm -hmm. And then you have to bring the skid steer back yeah. over and put the plow on. You know. Yeah. Certain days, like, hey, I'm going to need help. We're going to do this, this, and this. And get them for the day. Yeah. Try, try to plan it out. Yeah. yeah, you can plan out your bigger jobs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, we need to make a motion on that, or do we want to talk about it? First? Well, we have to set a wage rate and everything for him. Okay. We probably have to contact him and see if he's still interested so in the position. Mm -hmm. Want to reach out to him, maybe? Yeah, Especially if wintertime, I'd rather have yeah, enough help. help. Yeah. Then no help. Yeah. And he's he's mechanically inclined. Yeah, he is. He's the one that did that sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's the one that cleaned up stairs. <laughs> um, that's it for maintenance. Okay. And correspondence. Okay. Let's move on to correspondence. Oh, there's no correspondence. <laughs> Okay, old business then. Um, I was just going to update you guys that I've been working on the DCED grant for the roads and drains. Um, it's due November 30th, but I have to submit it to North Central by November 13th so they can go over it and see if they need to delete anything or add anything. So, until I have to business. Okay. Yes, we're on the new business, the budget. Yes. We have to make a motion to adopt the proposed budget. <laughs> make any modifications from the last meeting? Mm, I just updated the expense. The actual? Yeah. Okay. I can talk. <laughs> Without any, anything major, it looks like we're in decent shape. It could always be better, but it could also be worse, too. After you adopt it, may I get a copy of it? Absolutely. I actually make copies in case anybody needs it. Thank you. You're welcome. Miscellaneous receipts last year or this year? Mm -hmm. This year. Yeah. Not on the total. I guess we did pretty good this year. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you can see the, the office. 
The motion is made to adopt the 2024 budget. A second. So on the second, all in favor? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you so much. Do we have anything else we need to talk about? Mm, I agree with the mayor. I've heard a lot of good things about Dave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people. And I think a lot of people are happy to see work being done. See on work being done, see a person in cash. Well, Joe's had my number for how long is he here? Five, six years? He never once texted me. Dave texts me every day and tells me what he's doing lunchtime. He tells me what, what he's been doing. How did he make up with that, that guy's uh, experience? Uh, that guy, he, they said he doesn't have to do it now, do it after winter. So yeah. he's, he's fine with that. So once one spring day. breaks. Oh, they, yeah. They went up and talked to him, and uh, the guy said, you know, I just appreciate somebody coming up and acknowledging him. He said, nobody talked to me at all about this. Davey said, well, I went, I looked at it, I went to McGill's, they don't have the materials that, to fix it. He said, but as soon as we can, we're going to get it, get it from Lowe's. He said, I'll get it taken care of. He says, just wait till spring. He said, we got plowing to do this year. He, and I mean, he just said he was happy that somebody acknowledged that it was going to be taken care of. Every said, time I talked to him, he was always grateful. Yeah, that's the first time, you know, because Joe never would have went up and gone to him, so. Nope. Oh, do me a favor, Amber. Yeah. Leave a note for him. He's going to make sure that the ambulance and the fire company is always plowed out when he's making his rounds. I guess he got with Dawn, and Dawn taught him the route for the school buses so he can get in here. Okay. That way that's done. The, the, the school buses and the fire company. You know? Right. Because there was always a concern with the big chunk of ice built up in front of the ambulance door mm -hmm. and, and all that. Okay. I just now remember that. But yeah, I've heard many good things of what he's yeah. doing. Work, work is actually getting done. So. Yeah, people in town, I'm sure, are happy because they actually see someone out and about. But I don't want to see, I, what I'm glad is that you guys are deciding on getting a part-timer because I don't want to see the kid get burned out. Burned out, yeah. That's, yeah. that's like told me to go burn yourself out. I mean, you can work all day, but just don't, <laughs> you don't hurt yourself. Right. You know, it yeah. requires two people, get two people. Well, he got the water all shut off and drained over to park. Yeah. He wasn't sure about what to do there. Yeah, because the kitchen and that, he asked me if I had a key. I said no. So I got on Dudley and we met over there. He should probably have a key for that. Well, he just got another key ring. And there may be a key for it on there. Oh, for the center door? No, no, for the kitchen itself. Oh, the kitchen, okay. But yeah. uh, he got, and they drained the hot water. They drained everything out. The water shut off. How's the camera working? Good. Like it? Mm -hmm. And if, uh, if anyone ever needs in the bathroom, the bathroom keys that are hanging in the kitchen. This, this, there's a set hanging in there. If so if anyone, if anyone ever needs to get in. I mean, I, I have a set at home. <coughs> yeah. Well, Donna called me that one day for them, but I, I was I was on camp and I wasn't home, so I couldn't I couldn't go and lock it for her. Didn't she say we have a set in here? Yeah, I have a set. There's a set downstairs. I have a set. Okay. Oh, the fuel tank downstairs. We already voted on because when Joe said about the fuel tank was leaking, yes, I thought it was a fuel tank for the furnace. So that it's not. It's a fuel tank for the skid steer. Really? Yeah. Yes. The whole bottom's rotted out of it, and there's there's pig mat under there. There's because yeah, he said it's the furnace. The furnace yeah. yeah, it's not the furnace. The furnace so are not great. leaking. So um, we already said to go. You know, we yeah, were we were not going to do it, but. Yeah. It's less than a thousand dollars. There's no reason we shouldn't do that. No, we need it. We don't need this thing. It's, it's got a quarter of a tank of fuel in it yet. <coughs> and he'll burn that up here through the winter. Well, so he also some found some can five gallon cans downstairs. He said if he has to, he's gonna try if they're any good, he's gonna try emptying it, getting it done. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do it. Because Andy Pierce said it I think the tank was eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred and eighty five. 
and it was forty four <laughs> roughly forty five dollars or no eight the four the legs the legs aren't gonna come out of that tank. The four legs they are they are rusted in this tight. So we might as well get new legs. And he can he can trade all the other hardware off that's on the top of the tank. Yeah. That doesn't install any hundred and eighty five. Well it just sits there. You know, all we have to do is drop, oh, all we have to do is drop the tank right and you know, right. be set up here by whoever. Okay. And that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to get mind. two letters signed. Yeah, yep. I am right here. Okay. This is for my Carrie was no longer the EMA director. Okay. So I need everybody to sign, not Mark. And then this one's for when Mark became the EMA. Just signed below the Alberta Mark Council? Just the vice president, president, I'm sorry. Everybody. Does he want me to like scan it over, or is that fine? Or does he want like a hard copy? I would scan it over to him. Is everything else that you sent him fine? Yeah. Because he's got to send it from. He's got to look at it mm -hmm. and approve it. Yeah. And it's got to go to Harrisburg and be approved. And then it's got to go to the governor's office and be approved. Okay. And then come back to Clearfield. That's a lot. That's a lot of approval. <laughs> yeah. for us.